Let's get to the Clinton team reaction to this email report from the State Department Inspector General and what's being said about it. Brian Fallon is press secretary for the Clinton campaign. He joins us from New York. Brian, thanks for being here. Hi, Brett. Thanks I wanted to get right, oh, yeah. right into it. Uh, secretary Clinton numerous times has talked about uh, why she had the private email, the private server, and that it was approved. Here's what she said, and she said it more times than just this. My personal email use was fully above board. It was allowed by the State Department as they have confirmed. The truth is, and the truth is, everything I did was permitted and I went above and beyond what anybody could have expected in making sure that if the State Department didn't capture something, I made a real effort to get it to them. And I had no obligation to do any of that. As you know, the Inspector General's report says something completely different. The Inspector General found no evidence that the Secretary, it says, requested or obtained guidance or approval to conduct official business via personal account on her private server. According to the current CIO and Assistant Secretary for Diplomatic Security, Secretary Clinton had an obligation to discuss using her personal email account to conduct official business with their offices, who in turn would have attempted to provide her with approved or secured means that met their business needs. However, according to these officials, DS, and IRM did not and would not approve her exclusive reliance on a personal email account to conduct department business because of the restrictions in the FAM and the security risks in doing so. What about that, Brian? Well, I think if you look at the statements that the Secretary has made that she played, the point that she's making is that if you look at the regulations that were in place at the time, they did not bar uh, folks at the State Department from using personal email for work purposes. In fact, the report today by the IG found that some 90 plus different top level officials in the State Department dating back to the Bush administration use personal email for work purposes including Secretary Powell, including Secretary Kerry who followed Secretary Clinton. So there was a clear precedent set that it was acceptable to use personal email for work purposes. Sure, there's an email. I think that's what the, the secretary has long been referring to. There's the email and then there's the personal server in her house, right. um, neither of which were approved according to the State Department IG, and they wouldn't have been approved according to this statement based on security concerns. So this report is looking at two different implications of her use of personal email. First is, did it violate any federal records rules in terms of preserving government records? And there, uh, it's sort of immaterial that she had a personal server uh, because the requirement from a federal records keeping standpoint is, are you preserving the records and then are you filing them or, or turning them over to the State Department? And she did that. Uh, with respect to the second consideration that was assessed in the State Department IG report today, which was the matter of security. Was there a security risk posed by her use of a server, a uh, personal server, to host her personal email account? And what the section of that report said today was that uh, there was no evidence that this personal server of hers was ever breached successfully. Well, there were hold on attempts. about that. There were, in, uh, there were attempted in, intrusions, but none of them were successful. And well, that matches that. all the reports. How do you know that? Well, well, there has been reporting out of the ongoing Justice Department review that they've looked at the logs, the security logs for that server, and found no evidence of that. So That's this hacker, Lucifer, you don't buy that he got into the server? Actually, we don't, and there's no evidence to corroborate so that. Why do you think the Justice Department has cut him a deal? Well, he's been extradited to the United States to face charges related to his confirmed hacking of other individuals, sure, including, including former Sidney President, Blumenthal, including, who had including the sister of Clinton. former President Bush, including the sister of former President Bush, Sidney Blumenthal, and others who he successfully performed hacks on. Okay.